Good day, sir. Today, we will be discussing another topic, which is emotion. What is emotion? How it is developed in our body. As we move through our daily lives, we experience a variety of emotions. An emotion is a subjective state of being that we often describe as our feelings. Emotions result from the combination of subjective experience, expression, cognitive apparatus, and physiological responses. Emotions play a crucial role in our lives because they have important functions. It is impossible to imagine life without emotion. We treasure our feelings, the joy at a ball game, the pleasure of the touch of a loved one, or the fun with friends on a night out. Even negative emotions are important, such as the sadness when a loved one dies, the anger when violated, the fear that overcome us in a scary or unknown situation, or the guilt or shame toward others when our sins are made public. Emotions color life experiences and give those experiences meaning and flavor. In fact, emotions play many important roles in people's lives and have been the topic of scientific inquiry and psychology for well over a century. The first concerns the intrapersonal functions of emotion, which refer to the role that emotions play within each of us individually. The second concerns the interpersonal function of emotion, which refer to the role emotions play between individuals between a group. The third concerns the social and cultural functions of emotion which refer to the role that emotions play in the maintenance of a social order within um, society. The experience of emotion is accompanied by activation of two major areas of the nervous system the brain and the autonomic nervous system. Researchers believe that sensory information about emotion evoking events moves along two pathways in the brain. The information goes first to the thalamus and from there moves uh, simultaneously to the uh, amygdala and the cortex of the brain. The amygdala processes the information quickly and sends signals to the hypothalamus which in turn activities activates the autonomic nervous system. The cortex on the other hand processes the information more slowly allowing people to appraise or evaluate the event. Example, when information travels from the sense organ to the thalamus to the amygdala people respond instantaneously without thinking to events uh, in their environment uh, a parent uh, may snatch her child away from a curb without thinking if she hears the sound of squealing stars um, coming toward them the amygdala has received a great deal of attention from researchers interested in understanding the biological uh, basis for emotions, especially fear and anxiety, the amygdala is composed of various sub- subnuclei, including the uh, basolateral complex and the central nucleus, nucleus. The basolateral complex has dense connections with a variety of sensory areas of the brain. It is critical for classical conditioning and for attaching emotional value to the learning processes and memory. The central nucleus plays a role in in attention. 
and it has connections with the hypothalamus and various brainstem areas to regulate the autonomic nervous and endocrine system activity of course emotion is not only displayed through facial expression we also use the tone of our voices various behaviors and body language to communicate information about our emotional states body language is the expression of emotion in terms of body position or movement research suggests that we are quite sensitive to the emotional information communicated through body language even if we're not uh, consciously aware of it generally in the emotional processes uh, we have some kind of uh, antecedent event and this triggers the emotion depending on how we appraise the event we get a different emotional response the words emotion and mode are sometimes used changeably but psychologists use these words to refer to two different things typically the word emotion indicates a subjective affective state that is relatively intense and that occurs in response to some something we experience emotions are often thought to be consciously experienced and intentional mood on the other hand refers to a prolonged less intense affective state that does not occur in response to something we experience mood states may not be consciously recognized and do not do not carry the intentionality that is associated with emotion our emotional states are combination of uh, physiological arousal uh, psychological appraisal and subjective experiences together these are the components of emotion and our experiences backgrounds and a uh, culture inform our emotions therefore different people may have different emotional experiences even when faced with similar circumstances in the given movie entitled man on fire denzel washington plays a crazy and ex an, an ex cia operative and former force recon recon marine he was a highly trained killing machine. Quisi um, suffers from extreme guilt over the terrible things he has done and he has shut him down, sending him as spiraling further into alcoholic d depression. Out of, it, out of options, Quisi is hired by a wealthy a wealthy couple in Mexico City to serve as bodyguard to their nine-year-old daughter he does his duty but keeps an emotional distance refusing to commit to actually caring about anything bit by bit the girl Pita tears down the wall he has built a constant reminder of what is innocent and good in this world when Pita is uh, ultimately kidnapped, Crazy's uh, ray of hope, the, the best chance of pulling him out of the sm smothering darkness, is gone. Presumed dead, he was just starting to believe again that life was worth living. At that, th at that point, Crazy goes into rumble mode uh, method methodically and murderously uh, working his way up the food chain of racketeers and corrupt authorities involved in the kidnapping in the movie it showed a lot of emotions the main character is a man who was a drinking problem and was not sure of himself because of his past but it changed when he met the charming girl, he didn't realize that he is slowly softening uh, his heart and had hope. We can say that in different circumstances, emotions are there 
and it is continu continuously changing and that will be all thank you